want to have your own GPT trending list or marketplace. Okay, let me give you a free GPT to use it. We collected 50 plus thousand of customer GPTs with ID, name, author, URL, description, and conversation count. The how to use the data set? Let's ask the GPTS itself. In today's video, I will show you how to build a GPTS marketplace by GPTS and database. Hey developers! Do you want to build your own powerful GPTS that can get more information? For example, the GPTS marketplace. Today we are diving into how the latest GPTS can load data from your API. And we will work through a typical GPT that can uncover trends in GPTS itself. You might be surprised at how useful it is. And our superheroes, the GPTS. Needless to say, nobody doesn't know it. This advanced model can analyze tests and help us to find trends and patterns. The only thing that we should do is to give the right information to your GPTS and give some prompts. So check this out. We've got four default options ready to roll. Let's walk through them one by one. Feeling lucky today? Give the first one a shot. It's randomly select 10 GPTS for you. If you are looking to snack some of the hottest GPTS, it will hook you up with options based on how many conversations they've had. Also, if you are keen on searching by keywords, you're all set. Like if you search for JavaScript, it will line up some GPTS related to whatever keywords you're throwing. Looking for top authors? Just type top authors into the input box. And if you are aiming to filter by language, go ahead and search using a language code like JA, which means Japanese. I will put this GPT's link into the description. If you just want to use it, you can click it and use it directly. But if you want to make your own, please keep going with me. With our customer built interface, we can make GPTs to call our own API to get GPTs data. Well, how did we do that? How can the API connect to the GPT? First thing first, we already maintain a set of GPTs data in real time. You cannot do it without any effort. And then, set up an HTTP API. I will show you how to build it. You can build your API with a service. But to simplify, I will open TiDB Cloud Data Service and make an API within 30 seconds. For example, I will set the API name and pass as slash demo and deploy it. That's it. You already have a published API. Our TiDB Cloud is also optimized for GPT configuration. Just click on Get Configuration. Then create an API key. After creating it, move to the Create New GPTs section. In the Config tab, scroll down to the end and you will find Create New Action. I won't go into the other configurations above. You can complete them step by step using the Create tab on the left. Here for authentication, choose API key. We go back to TiDB Cloud and copy the base64 encoded API key. This is required by OpenAI. Okay, save it. Then for the schema, we can also import it online. Go back to TiDB Cloud, copy the API specification URL, paste it and click import. It will recognize your interface. We only create one just now, so only one interface is identified. If you had to create multiple, then multiple APIs would be listed here. Click on test and authorize access. Okay, this completes the connection. You can just save it up. 
See, with GPTs, we can leverage itself to make its own marketplace. Amazing! And we can use API in our GPTs very easily. Got your own ideas for GPT-powered apps? Share them in the comments. We are building a community for developers pushing the boundaries for GPT innovation. If you have more fun usage for this dataset, welcome to send some comments below. Want to know more about these technologies? Subscribe to us now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.